Hi everyone, welcome to BISP Solutions. My name is Farha Alam and in this session we are going to learn about uh, the parameters in the data model. So in this session we are going to take a look uh, how can we define the parameters in the data model. So parameter, so what is parameter? So parameter is nothing but it's like a prompt whenever the user run uh, their reports or data model it will going to uh, prompt the user and ask for some input and based on the input provided by the user it will going to display uh, the results so this is basically the concept of parameter so let's go to our instance and see how can we define the parameters or how can we implement the parameters in our data model in uh, oracle fusion bip so in order to do so we just have to move on to our instance and see how do we do that so here right now I am in my Oracle Fusion instance home page. I just have to reach out to my BI server and either we can either can we go with uh, the navigator icon or we can simply uh, go with this uh, springboard and here we have an option called tools. Just click on tools and click on the reports and analytics and then click on browse catalog. Then we'll redirect to our bi server where we can uh, create our data model and perform the related task so here is my folder and i just have to reach out to my destination folder which is this one and uh, the next step is to create the data model so i'm going to quickly create one data model and here i have defined my query here is my query this time i'm going to use the assignment database so it is going to be assignment parameter ds D ds stands for data set and source is going to be hcm and then i have to paste my query which is going to fetch the assignment id its type number frequency what is going to be the frequency for the assignment whether it is weekly or hourly and then we have the legislation code for which particular legislation uh, the employee belongs to then we have system person type and this is basically our table name per all assignment underscore m and then click on ok so here my query has been executed click on view data then view so here we can see our data now the next step is to create the parameter so how can we define the parameters in our data model so in order to define the parameter we just have to provide this query I'm going to use query remains the same only one thing uh, has been in, uh, added over here which is this one where I have added one condition where assignment number I'm going to implement my parameter for the assignment number so where assignment number equal to this is the way how can uh, this is the way to define the parameter so we have to uh, put a parenthesis and then under parenthesis we have to put a, a colon and then the attribute or column name on which we are going to implement our parameter so uh, assignment number is my attribute for the parameter click on ok so here add parameter assignment ds yes i want to add uh, this attribute as a parameter so i'm just uh, going to select it and click on ok so here we can see the assignment number has been inserted under the parameters window and here if we want to provide any other name we can provide it over here or enter assignment number and then click on view data 
then here we can see uh, one uh, field has been inserted and here I have to provide the assignment number and then based on the so what will happen when I click on view data it will ask me for the assignment number right so I have to provide the assignment number and based on the assignment number I have inserted over here it will going to display the results so here we can see the assignment number 87 over here 87 87 only the assignment number contains 87 you will be able to see the information for only that particular assignment number if i provide e7 and when i click on view data so then i will be able to see the assignment information for the assignment number e7 you can see it over here so this is basically uh, the this is basically the way to define the parameters in the data model and if you want to define multiple parameters so you can define that also you just have to go there and here like uh, let's suppose i want to implement the parameters for legislation code as well so when i click on ok so here the legislation code has been uh, added as the parameter over here you can see it over here and name legislation code click on view data and then here we can see uh, two parameters over here for the legislation code and assignment number let's suppose i want to see the us legislation information for the assignment number e7 and when i click on view data so then that i will be able to see the information for the assignment number e7 and the legislation code for us this is how we can define the parameters in the data model or uh, the way to define the multiple parameters in the data model and this is all about uh, this one to define the parameters in the data model and this is all about our today's session if you have any question regarding this one you can uh, reach out to us at www.bispsolutions.com or www.bisptrainings.com thank you everyone We'll continue in our upcoming session. Thank you, everyone.